This month, Africa is celebrating 60 years since the launch of the Organization of African Unity, now called the African Union. Looking back at this historic moment, SABC has spoken to the Vice President of the Southwest Africa People's Organization, the governing party in Namibia, Ndomba Nandi Ndewata, a Swapo presidential candidate in next year's election, spoke about what women have achieved and challenges uh, they still face in their senior positions. Every position of responsibility has challenges, uh, but challenges should be seen not in a negative way, but they must be seen in a positive way. Uh, it's a challenge in the sense that the people who have elected you, they are looking upon you to do what they expect you to do. In other words, the expectation of the people is there and it needs to be met. Now, as a person who is given such a responsibility, then you have to perform it in a way that you ensure that there is a teamwork, particularly among your comrades, uh, when I'm talking about the Swapo party, that the party is united, that the party is focusing on the issues that matters for the Namibian people. And by implication, that will also enable the Namibian people to have trust and confidence into the party and them to follow. Uh, so that each and every citizen will be able to know what is to be done so that we make sure that uh, there is uh, quality service delivery to the people of the country. So the challenge is how you can communicate mm -hmm. with the party members, communicate with the citizens so that each and everyone knows that we have responsibility towards each other. And that is a challenge any leader mm. in whatever position can face, because you can't do anything alone. You must always work as a team. And as a leader, you are the one to make that team to be a real team that you want it to be. Prime Minister, the issue of women on the continent, particularly in relation to leadership, we only have two women presidents. One, ceremonial Ethiopia and of course Tanzania. How difficult it is to mobilize Africans to support women to occupy these important positions. The difficult that uh, women in a position of leadership, specifically now doing about the president, is uh, the cultural norms. Because uh, our societies up to now, they are not used to see women as president. So and anything that is new, uh, you are expecting uh, sometimes even a resistance. Uh, there is always a resistance of unknown. And uh, that is one of the issues that uh, women who are given an opportunity to be in such position, they have to be aware of. Uh, in fact, I must say that uh, uh, because the women have been absent and they themselves also know they've been absent, the challenges that women are facing, they are both internal and external. Uh, when I'm talking about internal, I'm talking about a woman yourself. Uh, because now knowing where you are coming from mm. and knowing that as women, you were at the periphery and now you are coming in the center and you become like the key for other women to come. So your own instinct tells you that uh, I am now opening the door for other women. And uh, if you do not handle this carefully, uh, it might also uh, not be helpful, but it's a reality. 
that as a woman coming into leadership, your target is to change the system, to change the culture, so that it become acceptable that both men and women can occupy this position. Now, the external one, you have now some people who are saying, yeah, now women are there. We are seeing what they are doing. Uh, some, they can say we are seeing what they are doing in a positive way. Some, they are doing it in a negative way. So th these are some of the things that you are expecting in human nature. So it just uh, depends now how you are handling mm. your internal challenges mm. as well as the outside challenges. So, but uh, looking at what uh, had happened thus far, and the person I can really always refer to is our former president of Liberia, uh, because uh, she is really the first president who was directly elected and then ruled the country. And for her, it was even more difficult because she became a president of a country that was coming out of the war. And she had the responsibility to bring these warring factions together, mm. which I, I believe she really performed. And uh, of course, we have all our colleagues who have to finish the terms. And again, it was a question of people seeing, we will see how they are doing it. So yes. what is really needed here is a focused mind that what you are doing is really to see how you can address the challenges faced by the people and how you can bring everybody on board. As a president, you cannot work alone. Mm -hmm. And as a president or as a country to be successful, you need a, an agenda that will be acceptable to the majority, if possible, to say to everybody. But I cannot say to everybody because uh, human nature being what it is, but if you have the majority, and that's why I talk about the issue of one heart, one mind. So if you, you can just reach that level, definitely you'll be able to uh, drive your country and of course the continent. How ready is SWAPO in terms of campaigning? Are you ready to hit the ground running next year? Swapo is ready. Uh, Swapo is ready. Swapo has pronounced itself, guided by, by its own constitution, as well as our own rules, which made it very clear that whenever we are going for elections, and for one reason or the other, our sitting president is not able to stand for example, now, our current president is in his second term, and our constitution is very clear that no one can serve for more than two terms. So our rule says that whenever that situation occurs, whoever is going to be the vice president at the time is automatic our presidential candidate. And when we were having our seventh Congress, People were preparing for that. So SWAPO is ready for the elections. And as a person who is now elected as the vice president of the SWAPO party, I am ready to serve the Namibian people through SWAPO. And uh, you will see that uh, the, the, the people have already started, mm. though or not official, the campaign has not started. But uh, SWAPO members are really mobilizing themselves. They are mobilizing others who are willing and want to support the SWAPO party. And there are those who are pronouncing themselves. We know that we have some people who belong to other political parties. We see some of them are coming back. I have to tell you that on Saturday, I'm going to be in Okunene where I'm going to receive some uh, members who are coming from other parties joining SWAPO. And uh, that is the way to go, because to, to win elections mm. is to get uh, the numbers. So SWAPO is ready 
for these elections, and SWAPO is ready to govern this country. And with the support that SWAPO will get from the Namibian people, will be able to carry this country forward. Your message to women on the continent, particularly during this month where we are celebrating the continent. This year we are celebrating the 60th anniversary of the formation of the organization of the African unity that we today call the AU. Uh, for the African women, we must be proud of ourselves because this trend of uh, political mobilization for the liberation of the continent, it was led by women. And that's why the Pan-African Women's Organization was established before the Organization of African Unity. And uh, it is gratifying that currently we are seeing many women in Africa in position of leadership.